Sometimes snitches get stitches, but in New York, they get dick pics. Just last week, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio asked city residents to turn in their neighbors for breaking social distancing rules. In a video posted to social media, he praised New Yorkers for their expert-level social distancing, but pointed out that not everyone got the message. And so he would have to come down with an iron fist of enforcement. He set up a special government hotline and app for people to call or text and encouraged them to text photos of alleged violators along with their location so that New York police might educate the ignorant. And let me tell you, it has taken every fiber of our beings to figure out how to do this because we're warm, emotional people. All you gotta do is take the photo and put the location with it and bang, send a photo like this and we will make sure that enforcement comes right away. The associated website asks New Yorkers to turn in non-essential businesses, essential businesses that didn't look like they were complying, crowds, people not standing six feet apart, people without masks, or anyone who wasn't generally living in fear. Suggested locations for hunting down these rebels include barbershops, restaurants, parks, playgrounds, offices, and grocery stores. In his video, de Blasio emphasized that turning in your neighbor was imperative in order to save lives. Look, this is important. I want to keep reminding people, it's about saving lives. So imperative, in fact, that offenders could face $1,000 in fines. And that's going to save lives. For a good indication of how this all went, just check out that ratio. Mwah! <laughs> In a matter of hours, de Blasio's snitch hotline was flooded with photos of middle fingers, pics of him dropping the Staten Island groundhog that one time in 2014, and news coverage of him going to the gym despite early social distancing rules. Other people sent in Hitler memes thanking New Yorkers for doing the Reich thing, photo edits of him with a Hitler mustache, or other general shenanigans equating de Blasio to the Nazis. And, of course, trolling a government hotline would not be complete without a heavy helping of dick pics. <laughs> I can only show you the photos of the fake gummy ones, but according to a source within the NYPD, they are up to their eye <coughs> balls in dick pics. One caller even phoned in a tip that he saw de Blasio, how you say, orally pleasuring someone in a back alley behind a 7-Eleven. An officer told the New York Post that, of course, all information had to be vetted before it being dispatched to other precincts, which suggests that they might have actually had to go investigate that back alley. I would imagine that this has been very long and hard work, as so many memes and obscene images were sent into the tip line that it temporarily crashed or else contracted gonorrhea. City Hall kept the line closed on Sunday in order to clear out the backlog of crank complaints. Unfortunately, that backlog was just the tip. There were, unfortunately, some folks that did use the line for its intended purpose. Users on Twitter reported children riding bikes, joggers, gatherings of six people instead of five, people smoking cigarettes without masks, an outdoor baby shower, and a $10 bottle of hand sanitizer. For now, the tip line is alive and well and slipping into your DMs. But unfortunately, no women named Karen could be reached for comment at this time. That is your news for today. Please like and share and subscribe if you're new here because I've got dad jokes for days. And if you like my work and want to help support it in other ways, you can find me on Patreon and Subscribestar or give a one-time donation through PayPal or my website. As always, thanks for tuning in and helping me to spread the message of liberty.